both pretty typical summer evening out there across the valley. Temperatures are in the mid 80s right now. 83 Harlingen and Port Isabel, 86 McAllen and Edinburgh. Wesleyco checking in at 84 degrees tonight. Brownsville is a cool spot actually at 82 right now. Dew points are in the low to mid 70s. 71 to 76 is the range across the valley. So we'll put a 73 on the muggy meter. So we're up in the very humid category, but late last week over the weekend, it was up more like 77 or 78. So we're getting a little bit of a break, but not very much. The next three days, temperatures are going to be right around normal, maybe a little above tomorrow, but then Friday and Saturday as we get a few more clouds and a slight increase in the rain chance, slight increase. Temperatures may stay a couple degrees cooler around 95 for Friday and Saturday. Here's your rain chances. I think tomorrow, like today, there were spotty showers today, mostly Willisie County during the day on the island first thing in the morning and then Friday and Saturday with about a 20% chance of stuff, mainly on the sea breeze moving in. It moves in, then it dies, but at least a few folks will probably pick up a shower. Now this is satellite and radar all day today and you'll notice scattered showers kind of sneaking through. The sea breeze activated temporarily briefly in parts of Willis County and then that was the end of that and things have since quieted down. Zoom out a little bit wider and take a look at the Gulf of Mexico. Moisture is increasing on our side of the Gulf and with that as this moisture comes off the Yucatan Peninsula, our rain chances will go up. Again, we're looking at probably about a 20% chance for at the end of the week. Here you see it. Future track hints that spotty stuff shows up tomorrow. We see more on Friday. There it is during the afternoon again. And I think the sea breeze is the most likely trigger. Aside from that, you're looking at very isolated activity, but probably not much more than that. Now, look at the Gulf and the Caribbean. Again, we showed you this wave, but as we go farther to the east, we now have a new tropical depression in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's track it for you, show you exactly where it is right now. It's at 12 Point eight north, 38 four west. Winds are 30 moving to the west northwest. Now, watch what happens with the winds in this. Notice it goes 35, 35, 35, 35, 30, and 25, and that's it. Never quite makes it to tropical storm strength. The Hurricane Center keeps this as a depression for the duration, at least through the weekend. After that, it should stay an Atlantic storm, but we'll keep an eye on that. And again, at most right now, it looks like a depression. Headed to the beach in the morning. Temperatures start the day in the upper 80s. Winds out of the southeast at about 10. UV index is extreme. Rip current risk is low. The surf temperature is 85 degrees. By tomorrow evening, we're still in the 80s. In the temperature range of the island, the lows have been about 82 and the highs have been about 89. That's it. There are your tides. Seas one to three feet with a moderate shop on the bay. So here you go. Clear, partly cloudy. 77 for low tonight. Then tomorrow we're back up to 97 with a spotty shower. Your chance of rain tomorrow stands at about 10%. I think there'll be stuff out there, but most places will stay rain free. A slightly better chance of rain Friday and Saturday kind of tapers off on Sunday. We drop back to 10% and then Monday, Tuesday looks like we'll be dry. And then maybe by Wednesday, another shot of a shower. So nothing big, but enough to maybe keep temperatures down a couple degrees. Well, I like that there's still a chance. <laughs> You're saying I there's a like chance. Yeah. yeah, I like that there's still a chance for rain and I like that that disturbance is way far away from us. In the Atlantic and hopefully stay in the Atlantic. Yes, all right.